Well, hi, and thanks for joining me here in my shop. That's the next radio I'm going to be working on, but first I want to take a look at these two kind of cool, I guess you could call these instruments, um, which a good friend of mine uh, picked up at a ham flea market for me. These are called substitution boxes. Actually, it says right on it, substitution box. This one's a capacitance box, and this one's a resistance box. And we have a couple of clip leads right there. And of course, the idea is you clip these into a position where there's a resistor or a capacitor, and then you can just, just set it to whatever you want. See what happens. Lots of fun with these. But the first thing I want to do, and what I, why the reason I, I'm making a video here, is I just want to check these and see how, uh, how accurate they are. Of course, that uh, involves using meters that are accurate. Now, let me just give it a shot with this guy here. We'll just do the resistance one and see how this works out. Now, the worst case, these two are going to agree the, uh, the what's written here and what shows up on the. Uh, my meter, I say worst case, oh look at that, it's got a w times one times a thousand. Ooh, times one. Yeah, if they agree, but they're both wrong, that's the worst case. How would you ever know? So we're starting out with 1500. So, 1500, 1650. Let's go down from there. 1K, yikes. You can go back. 1500, 1600. 1K, 15, 680. Hey, that's pretty darn suspicious, isn't it? Exactly 1K? Let's go back up a sec. Uh, you know what? Maybe the pointer's just... Yeah, it's a screw-on type. So it's probably just off one setting. So this... So let's let's follow that. So 1,000. This would be 1.5. Yeah, there you go. 1.5. This would be 2.2. Oh, not quite. 3.3. I've gone over the setting here. 3... Well, it's just under 3. This should be 4.7. Low. Now that is supposed to be 6.8. Even though the control is set to 4.7, it's pretty close to 4.7. Something, something a little funny going on here. 7, or it should be 6.8 or 10. There's the 10. Yeah, something very strange. There's 15. No. 15 ohms, 15 ohms. 23, looks like I got some resistors to replace if I want this to be accurate. So that's supposed to be 22, it's 29, or is it 33, depending upon how this button is. That just went down, did it? 30 ohms, turn it up for a higher one, nine, so wow. Lots of strange things going on here. We're all over the map. Suddenly we're up over 200. It's supposed to be 68 according to where it's pointing, maybe 100. What's it doing there? It's going all over the place. Well, assuming my meter's accurate, and you know I have some reasons to think my digital meter here is not accurate. some reason to believe that. Let's take a fairly reliable resistor here and check it. Orange, black, orange. So that would be 30K. 30K. 30K, eh? Let's see.
30. Okay, we're right on the money. Okay, so I think we can accept the meter's doing okay. So, lots of resistors in this box. All over the place. Now, it does have the 1000 setting. Let's give that a go. So, if I come around to here, this is where we got the, uh, the 1000 ohms. Nice and even. Let's see if we get it again here. Well, not if I hook the <coughs> ohmmeter to the <coughs> capacitance box. We're not going to see much there. There we are. 1,000. Exactly. Okay, now I'll flip the times 1,000 button here and see what happens. Okay, so 1,000 times 1,000 is a million, and we're getting 750. Well, interesting. Should we take a peek inside? Oh, I think so. If I have to replace the battery in here, what do you think? expecting to see is just an array of resistors coming off the terminals of the switch. And I've probably got enough resistors here, lots and lots of resistors. There we go. I see. Do you see that one right there? There's one there that's just cracked right open. All oh, these look really nice. But not that thing. This one is connected right to this switch, which is the uh, times a thousand switch. So I'm. Times a thousand or plus a thousand? Times a thousand. Well, that's a little curious in itself. This just seems to be switching in this one more resistor here. Uh, how that ends up times a thousand is kind of curious. Well, anyway, look at all those resistors. Wow. I spent quite a bit of time testing each individual one of them. Uh, probably uh, putting resistors around them to bring them back into the proper rating as opposed to removing them and putting new resistors in. I don't know. I have to think about that. Lots of work in the little box here. Now, let's check out the capacitor box. That will be just a little more tricky. A little more tricky. I'll probably use this meter here until it goes out of range of that meter and I've got to go get some cords. Okay. A little hard to see those numbers, isn't it? That's a little bit easier. Okay, so let's see. This is going to be in microfarads. Uh, this is in either nanofarads or microfarads. So the first one here is a 0.0001 microfarad. So that's 100 nanofarads. So I should put it like this. We should get a reading. And the reading should be... Uh, this last digit should be a 1. So here we're getting, uh, should be 
point one. We're getting point one six on here. Okay, so the next one up, we should basically double, double up to point uh, two. Point two plus a little bit. The next one should be four point four. That's a little closer. It's actually a touch low now. It should be point four seven. This should be 1.0. Pretty close. Pretty close. This should be 1.5 on the meter. Yeah, just about right on. This should be 2.2. It's a little low. It should be 3.3. That's close. 4.7. Didn't make much difference. 6.8. Low again. Okay, so this should take us up to 10, which is I think too much for the meter. It's not going to reach 10. It's at 8. Change the scale here. 8. Instead of 10, this should be 15. Gives 19. This should be 22. Gives 31. This should be 33. Gives 39. Interesting that they're bigger. Bigger, bigger than. Uh, let me hold it up here. Bigger than what the uh, indicator is. This should be 47. It's 52, 68. Oh, almost dead on. Ooh. This should be 100. Oh, this one way high. 150. And the last one should be 220. It's a little bit higher. Interesting, you know. Um, you have to think about what what it is you use this box for and uh, these boxes for. And uh, you know, I other than you know, high school experiments or college experiments, uh, I've never used one in this kind of environment at all. Um, but I could see where if you wanted to try, um, for instance, I was having a discussion with about cathode uh, resistors. And uh, which one would be the best size cathode resistor? Okay, just ignoring the problem of how much current you can feed through this box for a minute, you could use this as your temporary cathode resistor. You know, set it where you think it may be. Maybe it should be say, 220 ohms or maybe 330 ohms. Hook everything up, put this in, make the measurements, Make it smaller, make it bigger, and see what happens, and then make a decision about what size resistor you really want to use. Same kind of deal here. There's been a few cases where I've had capacitors. I haven't been able to determine their size. So out comes the unknown capacitor. In goes the box. Click this around in the area you think you uh, you think are the right uh, values, and then see the operation of whatever it is, radio or whatever. You can determine the best size capacitor, and I suppose this is lots of fun for just experimenting around. You know, what if we added a capacitor here? What if we did this or that? Uh, interesting. One thing about this is, you know, you could use this as is. Don't pay 100% attention to the settings. The same idea with the resistance box. And when you get it to where you want it, then you just basically read the capacitance just like I did with the meter and then discover what the real capacitance is on the box regardless of the writing. You wouldn't have to change any components in it. Same thing with the resistance box. Hey, that sounds good. Get use out of it without any effort going into it. I kind of like that calculation. Yeah, I think it's just about time to get going on this radio. That would be a great idea.